Hey guys, it's been one year since I've been on YouTube. It's time to celebrate. Let's go. Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Rusty with Rusty Brown Photography. So glad you guys are here. Today is a very special episode because it means that I've been on YouTube on this channel for one year and it is time to celebrate. This is a momentous occasion for me and I think the, the right thing to do is to celebrate. Now, when you think about celebrations, at least when I think about celebrations, there's a key ingredient that you got to have. I don't have it here. I think we need some cake. I think we need some cake. And if we're going to have cake for a celebration, my opinion is only one place to get the cake. Um, we're going to have to take a really, really quick road trip. Um, you guys can ride along with me. Let, let's go get some cake and then we'll come back. All right, let's get it. And that was a trip that was well worth it. Now, in this little bit of time that I condensed all of that, that was actually about two and a half hours. An hour to get there from here, 15 minutes or so just farting around inside the store to determine what I'm going to get, even though I knew what I was going to get before I got there. And then an hour or so to get back home. That makes it really, really nice because, like I say, now... We've got them, and again, as you can see from the ones that I put on the counter, you don't go there and just get one buntini. You, you, you got to get a couple. The cake is that good, and today for this celebration, we're going to be going with the good red velvet here. It's going to be quite tasty, absolutely. So now we can be begin to talk about what it's been like on the first year to celebrate here on Rusty Brown Photography. So what do you say we make a quick change in this shirt, and then we'll get right to it. Oh, this is so much better. It's a little bit cooler. I've actually got a window open. I've got studio lights going on that you guys can't see, and it does get a little bit warm. So let's get on with it. I'm going to be cracking open this red velvet while I'm, while I'm talking about what I think is so special about this episode. I covered a lot of things in this first year. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the goals that I hit and some of the goals that I didn't. Um, we'll start off with that actually. So I originally thought out that I could get 
25 episodes in the, in the first year. Not sure how I came up with that number. This one's actually 18. So I missed that mark by about seven. And that's pretty cool. Um, I do remember vividly some of the conversations I had with folks that are close to me when I wanted to start the channel. Just to get some advice, right? And one family member, basically, when, when I told him that this is what I wanted to do, he was like, well, why would you want to do that? There's literally hundreds, if not thousands, of really good photographers on YouTube. Talk about a, a shot to the gut. You know, I'm like, well, thanks for that motivation. It's almost like he was saying, unless you're w willing to compete with them, you're just wasting your time. And that's an important thing to consider. I'm not competing with anybody. I'm not trying to be those guys that are out there doing this for a living, even though I watch them and they're really, really good. That was never my intention. I'm here because I got something to say. I've been doing this seriously now for about 10 years almost. And the genesis of the channel, the reason that I wanted to get started was because I'm really talking to me from 10 years ago, if that makes sense. To the person who's not a beginner, who's not a pro, but who is trying to get better bit by bit with their photography. This is the kind of channel that I honestly would have watched had it been available. And maybe it was available 10 years ago and I just didn't find it. So to be clear, I'm not here for a competition. I'm not here to get a million subscribers. That would be awesome, but it just isn't the purpose. And there's a quote that I have from 2001. Let me share that with you. I've got my handy dandy day runner. Don't laugh. Those of you that are young don't know what it, what it is to have a day runner, but I still keep one. And it helps me with my calendar and schedule and things like that. In any event, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But it's a quote that I wrote in 2001 when I was trying to figure some things out. And it's about passion. And it simply says, passion. There are many things in life that will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. That's what passion means. So for me, I was already passionate about photography and I was passionate to get the word out about the something that I have to say, hence the channel. And I would say this, you know, it, it, not just in the YouTube, but in anything that you do, that quote is, is quite telling. If there's something that you want to pursue, you're going to have to be the one to drive it. What do I mean by that? I'm part of a few other uh, YouTube and podcasts you know, channels, productions. This is the only one that I do exclusively for me. But what I learned from those helped me shape this channel. More specifically, of the other three that I spend a lot of time with, only one of them to this day has the original crew that they started out with. And the primary reason is people will tell you that they want to do something and then they can't commit to that. So I have one YouTube channel and slash podcast that I produce that's called have you seen it? Where it's just two people who talk about movies. They love movies. They're passionate about movies. They don't always see eye to eye. But when the three of us got together to figure out how this channel was going to go, they helped determine the, the, uh, the path, if you will. And just a couple of weeks ago, they just started their season four. So that's three solid years that the same crew has been around because they're passionate. They don't have a million followers, right? but they still go out and do what they do because they love doing it. And that's what's important, right? The other channels that I'm a part of, one of them, I think the oldest one is 15 Good Minutes. We started that in 2016. We started out with seven people. Today we have a total of three and only two of us are original members. And I'm not an on-air talent, I'm a producer. So really there's only one original member from the on-air talent that's there. Same thing again, people just started falling off the radar, not showing up to rehearsals, not coming to shoot shootings because they weren't passionate about that. That was a, a brainchild of mine, much like um, Have You Seen It was a brainchild of mine. So what I've learned over time is that I can have a brainchild and it can be a great idea that nobody's going to love it, no one's going to want to pursue it like I do. The last one was another passion project of mine called the Kings of Coffee. And it was funny because it was three of us that started it. And then my son, Vern, found out about it. And he was like, oh, man, coffee's my thing. I can film for you guys, et cetera, et cetera. And he jumped in the phrase, so we had four, which made us the Kings of Coffee. 
And today, I mean, if, as you look at some of these images of these guys, I am the king of coffee. <laughs> I haven't changed the name, but the other three are just out, right? Vern just stopped showing up, started pursuing other things. Um, JR and Johnny are kind of in and out. They both were involved like maybe 18 months ago when they saw that I was still doing some things, but that was the last real act that they've done. They don't produce anymore. They don't um, give any new content. They don't go to interviews that I do with roasters and coffee houses and things like that. So my experience with all three of those different YouTube and podcast channels told me that when I started this one, just count on you. And that's what I would say to you guys, not because you want to start a YouTube channel, but if you're still into photography and you're still passionate about it, just count on you. Someone will tell you they're going to be there. They may not be there and that's okay. You know, you don't love everything that all of your family and friends love. And the same is true from them to you. They may think that they do, but the one thing I can tell you about this channel and why we're eating red velvet cake today is it's a lot of work. You have to get your concepts together. You guys know how I feel about journaling and this book has all my project ideas. I'll get a wild thought at two in the morning, I write it down and then I build upon that. You have to storyboard. You have to decide how you're going to shoot something. You have to spend time editing that something. You have to produce it and then you have to post it. So what you see in a 15 minute video here could easily take me three to four weeks from conception to posting. That is a lot of time and not everybody has that. So I'm committed to continue doing that on this channel because I really do love photography. This 35 millimeter film camera is the first real camera that I bought in 1982. It's older than my oldest child. That's how much I love photography. And I took a boatload of pictures with these. Most of them were horrible, but I loved photography and I stuck with it. This camera is called the Nikon N80, which I purchased in 2001. My last film camera before going digital. I was a little bit better, a little bit better lens, higher quality camera. I was still shooting Nikon at the time because it was film, but my love of photography never waned as my, my experience grew. And as most of you know, I'm 100% digital now. And this was my first Sony A99, not the Mark II, but the original, the Mark II is actually back here by this, by this screen, full size, full frame camera. Um, when I first got this, I want to say this was doing about 25 megapixel images. The, the, the Mark II does uh, 42 megapixel, but I just love everything that this camera does. And fun fact, I got this in 2012. I got the Mark II in 2017. The lenses that I use today on the Mark II, I bought one at a time when I still had this. I actually did a video during year one that talked about my equipment. I'll put that card in here somewhere, but that story is there. The point is, none of us are professional photographers, but we love photography. And so at this one year milestone where I don't have a ton of followers, I'm happy if anything that I've said, because you remember, I've got something to say. If anything that I've said has influenced someone, helped someone, sparked a conversation between people, got people talking about photography, then I've done my job here. And I'm gonna to continue to do that in year two. What will you see that's different? First and foremost, you're gonna see that if you haven't already noticed, I don't post nearly as much on Instagram. Twitter is gonna be my social media platform for posting, but for everything else in this space, just go to the website, rustybrownphotography.com. From there, you can find the YouTube channel. From there, you can find the Flickr link. From there, you can find Twitter. So in year two, as I continue, continue to produce video content for YouTube, I'm gonna be spending a lot more time on Flickr and on Twitter um, to get out images that I continue to work with. So uh, that's really all I wanted to say today, guys, was thank you so much for rocking with the channel. It does mean a lot. I'm very appreciative of your time. I know that there are hundreds, if not more, of different media outlets all vying for your time, all wanting you to spend time watching them, and for some very good reasons. Any amount of time that you spend here on this channel is extremely important to me, and I'm very grateful for it, as I am for you. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and polish off this, this red velvet. Now that's, that's not all we're celebrating with. I mean, it's a celebration, right? So a little later tonight, we'll be cracking this guy open right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a little Tesseron lot number 76, I believe. And here, I'll be pairing that lot number 76 with one of these fine Oliva Series V Melanio Stogies, which rated a nice 96 on CigarAficionado.com. And they pair extremely well with a really good Tonya. So once again, I appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for following the channel. If you haven't done so already, I would ask that you like and subscribe. And I hope that you look forward to the content that I'm going to put out in season number two as much or almost as much as I do. And if you haven't already, I, if you haven't tried nothing but cakes, I'm going to put a link in the description. I mean, think about it. We just drove to Springfield for this. And you know what? This red velvet, it's got chocolate chips in it. Mm, 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 mm. That is moist and tasty. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Be safe and keep shooting. Bye now. Mm. Lovely that.